Rockets for School is 2024, ready to proceed with launch operations. Mission Control Officers and Launch Site Monitors, prepare for launch operations. Flight Technician, please reset all Mission Control stations. Mission Control operations have begun for the Apollo teams. All team members acknowledge your presence when called. Launch Director. Present and ready. Marine Safety Officer. Present and ready. Air Safety Officer. Present and ready. Ground Safety Officer. Present and ready. Pad Safety Officer. Present and ready. Weather Safety Officer. Present and ready. Tracking Officer. Present and ready. Public Affairs Officer. Present and ready. Flight Technician. Present and ready. Roll call is complete. All risk control stations check with field operations and update, update your station's status accordingly. All stations prepare for a status check. Launch director status. Launch director is a go. Weather status. Wind direction is currently west-northwest at a magnitude of 18 miles an hour. Cloud base is at 5,400 feet above ground level. Weather is go. Marine safety status. Dumper Dan's recovery vessels are in position for recovery. All other vessels are clear of the harbor and river. Marine safety is go. Air safety status. Civil Air Patrol has control of the airspace surrounding the launch area. No aircraft are in the vicinity of the launch site. Air safety is go. Ground safety status. Security has maintained control of the ground surrounding the launch area. No unauthorized parties are in the launch area. Ground safety is go. Pad safety status. All students, advisors, pad managers have left the launch pad area. The pads are clear of personnel. Pad safety is go. Tracking safety status. Recovery vessels are alert and in position. Tracking parties are in place on both land and water. Tracking safety is go. Launch director, hold the countdown clock at T-minus 30 seconds. Roger. The next team to launch is the Wheelies from Aaron School. They are launching a Class 1 rocket on a H-550 motor. Their payload consists of a homemade reaction wheel. Reaction wheels are used on spacecraft to stay in orbit and change direction. Using the reaction wheel's angular momentum, we believe the rocket will spin the opposite direction as the reaction wheel. We will be able to determine the direction of spin by videoing the launch and watching the pattern of the outside of the rocket. In addition, we will also be watching the other rockets launch to observe to see if they have the same spin. Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds in counting. T minus 20 seconds in counting. Successful launch and good video of Team 101 here in school, the Wheelies. Recycle to T minus 30 hold. The next team to launch is Paper Aces Mark II from Whitefish Bay Middle School. They are launching a Class II rocket on a K535 motor. Their payload consists of trying to test Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law is when temperature and mass are constants, there is a relationship between volume and pressure. 
When the pressure goes down, the volume goes up, which is what we want to test. What will happen during flight? Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Successful launch of the Paper Aces Mark II, and the video looked good inside. Thank you. Recycling minus 30 hold. The next team to launch are the Hawks from Trinity Merrill Lutheran School. They are launching a Class 1 rocket on an H-550 motor. Their payload consists of measuring the time that it will take for their rocket to launch up and fall back down to Earth. They did the measurements and are taking an educated guess that it will be in the air for about 17 seconds. They have an alt Timeter 2 device to measure when the parachute ejects, the descension rate, and how long the flight lasts in general. Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Very fast launch, Trinity Merrill Lutheran School, Team 104. Recycle to T minus 30 hold. The next team to launch is the NHS Aerospace Club from Northville High School. They are launching a Class II rocket on a K-535 motor. Their objective is to verify the tensile strength of several materials used in rocketry by suspending weights from such materials and using the acceleration of the rocket to attempt and break those materials. By looking at the acceleration of the rocket when the material broke, they will be able to calculate the tensile strengths. Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Successful launch, Team 305, Northville High School. 
Video people, you're getting better. Recycle to T minus 30 seconds, hold. The next team to launch are the Rocket Rangers from Etude Middle School. They are launching a Class 1 rocket on a K535 motor. Their payload consists of a tank-like amphibious boat that will launch out of the rocket mid-air. Once it has launched, a parachute will activate and it will glide down on top of the water and then drive around, being controlled by an RC remote. The RC receiver will be placed inside the boat so we can control it with an RC remote. Our goal is to discover how to land vehicles on other planets safely. Sounds like an awesome payload. I hope it works, Etude. Launch director, all stations are go. Begin the countdown to launch. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds and go counting. Successful launch of Team 102 Etude. Good luck with your RC recovery. Recycle to T minus 30 hold. And that wraps up the launch operations for Stream 3, the Apollo launch teams. Thank you.